my name is Maya and I'm a student at Stanford University. Today I will be discussing the concept of transfer learning, which is a deep learning technique that holds great promise for improving machine analysis and medical image data. In this mini-lecture, I will be discussing the principles behind transfer learning, applications to radiology, and practical techniques that can be utilized to implement these methods. Deep learning is a computational methodology that uses a series of neuron layers, which essentially model mathematical functions, to extract insights from raw inputs, such as images or audio. When a deep learning model is trained on a large database of, say, animal images, the neurons learn the underlying characteristics of the images and can then perform predictive tasks, such as correctly classifying the image. Now, although deep learning techniques have demonstrated high accuracy on numerous prediction tasks, they are limited by the size of the data set. Large, high-performing neural nets designed to classify images are often trained on data sets of hundreds of thousands of labeled images. Often, and especially in the field of medicine, data sets of this size can be difficult or even impossible to obtain. Training deep neural nets on small data sets often results in poor accuracy and lack of generalization ability. Now, transfer learning is a technique designed to overcome this problem. The idea behind transfer learning is very simple. We use the knowledge gained from one scenario to improve model performance on a different scenario. For example, say that we want to design a classifier to identify if an image has an elephant, but our available data set is extremely small. What we could do instead is train a model on a larger image data set consisting of, say, cats. Although cats are very different from elephants, the model will be able to learn the basic features that characterize natural images. Then the model will be fine-tuned on our elephant data set, which will allow the model to improve its prediction accuracy without necessarily increasing the size of the data set. These techniques are particularly useful in radiology. In a recent study conducted by our group, we showed that transfer learning can be utilized to improve model performance on the bone abnormality detection task, especially when dataset sizes are small. Our task was to identify abnormalities in lower extremity x-rays. We began by training a model on a large dataset of upper extremity bone x-rays. Although upper extremities and lower extremities are obviously different, both datasets contain x-rays, which have similar visual signatures. Then we fine-tune our model on our lower extremity data set, which allowed for improvements in performance. This is an effective method of utilizing transfer learning. To implement transfer learning, you first need to obtain a large data set to pre-train your model. ImageNet, which is a large collection of natural images, is often a good choice for this. In PyTorch, models trained on ImageNet can simply be preloaded. For a more constrained task, such as in radiology, it makes sense to use large publicly available radiology datasets, such as the ones listed here, which have been published by Stanford Amy. Models can then be fine-tuned on your smaller dataset. Overall, transfer learning can serve as an effective strategy for improving model performance when dealing with small datasets. Thank you.